Hello and welcome to the Open Dental webinar using the EHR dashboard. This brief webinar will give you an overview of how to use the EHR dashboard to record patient data needed to meet EHR reporting requirements for attestation. It's important to note that someone on your staff will need to take the lead and own your EHR process. We can explain how to enter EHR data and produce reports, but if you need advanced help from Open Dental, our EHR consulting fee is $100 per hour. The EHR dashboard will be your central location for entering data during a patient visit. You'll also be able to view reports for specific providers and reporting periods based on that data that you have entered. When entering data, it's just important to remember that the patient's primary provider needs to be logged in to the workstation where that information will be entered. So looking at our screen right now, on the upper left, we're just going to log off and we'll log back in as the patient provider. So now you can see on the upper left of our screen, we are logged in as Dr. Lexington. If you are using Open Dental for a meaningful use stage two, you will want to make sure that you have updated your EHR settings. So I'll show you where you can do that. From our main menu, I'm going to set up here, down to chart and EHR. And that brings us into our EHR setup window. On the upper left, we see the word settings. I'm just going to click there. And on the upper left, you can see the checkbox for meaningful use, use stage two there. If you were going to go ahead and be using meaningful use stage two, you just check the box. And on the lower right, click OK to save your settings. To access the EHR dashboard, first we'll need to select a patient. So I'm going to our select patient window here on the upper left. Let's say it's patient Christy Polly that maybe has an appointment today. And there she is. Go ahead and choose that patient. So now we can see that patient's name here on the upper left. And then we'll go ahead and move to the chart module. And just above our graphic tooth chart here, we've got a toolbar. To the right of the tooth chart, we'll just want to choose our EHR tab from the toolbar. Clicking there, and that will open up our EHR dashboard. You can see the dashboard presents as a grid with columns for each of the measures that are needing to be met. You've got your measure types here. And you can see in the column, these are the ones that have been met, the ones that have a little X, and they have been turned green instead of the white color. Details. In the click to take action column, that's where we can utilize this grid to actually enter in patient data. So if I wanted to enter in demographics for this patient, I would just double click in that row, in that click to take action column. And that's going to direct me to the place within Open Dental that I can enter that information. I'll OK to save it. And now we've got listed that this has been met and the line has turned to green. When we see these X's and these rows that have been turned green, it's a good indicator of what else we need to enter for this patient and uh, what, what type of progress we've had so far. But it's important that we don't rely on this solely because the grid does not take into account date ranges or per patient rules. For measures that do not require calculation, such as these here toward the bottom of our click to take action column, we can simply click the edit explanation to type in information for our own records.
To the right of the grid are a series of buttons. Many of these buttons are obsolete for older versions of EHR. The important buttons for generating reports are here on the upper right, the measure calc and the quality measures. The measure calc button generates a report of measure percentages. percentages. The report will include denominators, numerators, and percentages for specific providers and reporting periods. Quality measures, just below, generates a report that details clinical quality measure, or CQM, percentages. The report, again, will include denominators, numerators, and percentages for specific providers and reporting periods. Vaccines is another one that you may or may not utilize. Um, most dental offices are going to be outside that scope, so it is highly likely that your provider will qualify for an exclusion. We thank you for joining us for this brief webinar. For any additional resources, please visit our website at www.opendental.com. Thank you.